I'm in Costa Rica. Ah, Costa Rica, a Central American paradise that has a little bit of everything for any traveler. You have the beaches, you have the rainforest, you have the cities like San Jose, where I'm currently staying. When I explore a new country, I usually go right to their food, because the way the locals eat and cook is the fastest way to learn about their culture. But for me to talk about Costa Rican food, I first need to tell you guys my first experience with a local meal. And wait for it, it was at Walmart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you click out of this video, let me explain. Because this Walmart cafe wasn't like any other cafe that you see at a Walmart. You know, I walked in expecting there to be high calorie meals like junk food, like pizza and hot dogs, but boy, was I wrong. Ooh, I actually took a picture of it. Let me show you. This is the Gallo Pinto, which is a plate of seasoned black beans, scrambled eggs, fried plantains, and rice. Seriously, this was a really good meal, and I was so excited that I found something like this at Walmart that I actually sent it to a few of my friends, and the response I got was actually quite interesting. Huh. Why is that? That makes me curious. Yeah, it takes 12 hours to soak, so we're gonna use pre-cooked beans instead. Mm. I could have this all day long. Which, in fact, isn't that uncommon here in Costa Rica. Let me share with you guys what I discovered when I went down the rabbit hole of Google about Costa Rica and their meals. Like I said before, the gallo pinto is commonly served with rice, beans, eggs, and fried plantains. Which I don't currently have right now because I'm trying to avoid fried food. But anyway, you get the point. But what's interesting is that a lot of this plate has origins from Africa, when the slaves were shipped over to Central America to do hard labor. And in order to keep themselves healthy and well nourished, they ate rice and beans. Just look at this meal. You can see the combination of eggs, rice, beans, fried plantain, all which gives you this sense of wholesome and full of nutrients. And of course, every gallo pinto is completed with a black cup of coffee. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was a really fun one to make, mainly because, you know, I had a really quick turnaround in terms of my last video. So I was actually traveling from Kenya to Germany, Germany to Costa Rica. So. I'm going through a lot of like jet lag this week and it's been very difficult to like stay focused on anything but one of the things that I did the first day I went here was actually get groceries at Walmart for the week and I was so hungry that I actually ended up eating at the cafe which ended up having this dish which led me down this whole path of like curiosity and that's what turned into this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm now in Costa Rica for the next two months so if anyone is in Costa Rica leave a comment below. I would love to connect with anyone who's living here. Um, but yeah, honestly, I love the food here. I started making it on my own. Um, it's because like the fastest way to learn anything, I think, about a culture, uh, about the people that live in a different country is to just cook the meals and actually, you know, Google things and like learn the recipe. Uh, because like I think that's the fastest way to appreciate uh, the places that you're going to. So that was the whole point of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the quick facts about this dish. It's amazing how, um, you know, this dish has been around for centuries, but it has a lot of influence from Africa and has a lot of influence from everywhere else in the world. So it's really cool to, uh, you know, learn and kind of realize. So there you guys have it. I'm gonna finish this meal. Like at the end of every video, Keep chasing your curiosity, leave a comment below, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next week.